Nothing good comes easy. It's a motto that has served Caralt Castellet well. She arrived back home to face the Spanish media as the proud holder of an Olympic silver medal from Beijing 2022. It was an achievement not matched in three decades of competition for Spain at the Winter Olympics, a career-defining moment helped by a well-organised event. We have seen the best snowboarding. Um, I, yeah, we were all grateful about the conditions. Um, the wind was managed and was under control and the halfback was in perfect condition. So we all had the opportunity to showcase our best snowboarding and you know, not just me, but also all the other riders. And it's even more of an honor to achieve a, a medal in these conditions. She was pipped to gold in the half pipe by defending champion Chloe Kim, 11 years her junior. Castellet proved a crowd favorite clinching second place, less than four points behind her American rival. The Spaniard has been one of the most consistent performers on the world stage over the last decade and has fought against adversity. She has broken bones, suffered concussion and undergone surgery. She also tragically lost her coach and partner Ben Jolly to cancer seven years ago. Her relentless pursuit for excellence meant that at the age of 32, she managed her greatest achievement on the Olympic stage, making her the perfect role model for a younger generation who wished to enter the sport. I hope so. I hope that um, by achieving that, there is more kids that um, decide that this is possible and that this to, to be a professional snowboarder and to be uh, in the fighting for the Olympic medals is not a crazy dream. It's actually a potential, a very, very cool goal. Well, Castellet says she's already setting her sights on the next Winter Olympics due to be held in Milan in 2026. Her achievement all the more impressive when you consider that Spain isn't really known for its success at the Winter Games. But for now, the snowboarder from Sabadell is earning a well-deserved break, knowing she's more than left a mark at Beijing 2022. Rahul Pafak, CDTN, Madrid.